Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a flip through of my current holiday planner setup which is in my ringed personal planner. This wasn't my original plan for the holidays but I do have two foxy fixes that are on their way to me. Those are my planned holiday planners. I will be receiving those shortly and setting those up as well but meanwhile I have this one and I did want to share it with you guys. The actual planner that I'm in is a Gilio Amica. It's a personal size planner in the black leather. It has the orange stitching and the interior is orange as well. So I'm just going to open this up so you guys can see what it looks like when I open the planner. I like to use this style Gilio because of the fact that it has a little bit more width than the Campania. I do switch between the two, but I tend to stay in this one mainly because I'm really comfortable with this. This is definitely planner piece for me as far as a ringed personal size planner goes. We're going to go through everything that's inside this planner. I will link everything below, all of the shop names, and if I have coupon codes that go with those shops, I'll include those as well in the description. We're going to start with this left side of the planner. I zoomed in a little bit so it's a little easier to see. The first thing I have here is I have this really adorable clip from Sticky Wicked Designs. Unfortunately, I do not think that this shop exists anymore or currently is not open, so I don't believe that you can get this, but it's really one of my favorite clips, the little Santa mermaid. She's adorable, so I like to keep her in most of my holiday setups. The next clip that I have that is current is from this year, and it is the Picks and Stones Red Club covert clip. I really, really love this. I love the fact that it clips down on the page and it doesn't stick up. And it's really cute because you can color this in if you choose to. I decided to just leave it as it is. I'm just going to clip it back down and it's really nice because it clips on very easily and slips right back inside. And I like the fact that it doesn't stick out. And then the next thing I have is the Grumpy Bear Merry and Bright Pocket Sticker Kit. I love this kit. It is so adorable it's going to be very hard to use but the stickers in it are really really cute and I'll just flip through it real quickly I love all of the plaid design that's in here and like I said it's going to be difficult to use but I will most likely use this hopefully and I like the fact that I can just clip it right into this front area here because I'm in the um, Amica versus the Campania I have a little extra space here so I really like that it fits in the inside cover. As far as the pockets, I really don't have anything special in the pockets as of right now. I'll probably be adding some stickers in the future. Next, we're going to look at my dashboard. Now, most of you call this a dashboard. I actually just used my first divider, if you can see here, which is my daily divider. I just use that as my dashboard. I don't have a separate one. These dividers here I've had for a couple of years. They're from Cardboard Couture, and I really love them. They have the black and white and red plaid design, and I just really love them. I did plaid last year in my planner, and I didn't think I was going to do that again this year, but I did, and I'm really loving it. I have some some die cuts digitals that I purchased from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. on the front and I love these two. They're my two favorite and I just laminated them and added them to this divider. I also have a clip from Peony's Papery. I love this clip. My favorite part of it is the gorgeous material that she used. It's really really cool. I love it and I'm going to link that below and I have a coupon code for that shop as well so I will include that and we're just going to flip that open and the next thing I have is this really cute die cut it's from Joy of Planning I'm really loving that shop it's a, her little Tormy figure and he's sitting inside a cup of coffee and I just love him I just wanted him alone on this page because I thought he looked so cute next I have some vellum from Planner Press Planner Press is definitely my favorite place to get vellum her quality is so nice and I love this because it had the buffalo plaid design on the deer heads and I thought it just like went really well with my setup. Okay, my first insert in my daily section is from Annie Plans Printables. This is her new collaboration she did with Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. And I just love these. I've been using these daily for really busy days. I love this gorgeous pink glitter uh, pattern that she had on the cover. Mostly when I print out my Annie Plans Printables, I print my covers in black and white so it doesn't clash with my current setup. But 
but this one was so pretty I left it it has like a faux glitter kind of pattern on it and it's really really pretty and here are the actual printables I've been using them a lot especially now that we're in the holiday time frame things are really crazy busy at first I didn't want to add stickers here but then I decided it was a great place to use up any of my little sampler stickers or any stickers that I have left over from weekly kits that I don't actually use when I lay down a weekly kit it's very difficult for me to use all the stickers I'm sure a lot of you are like that too so I end up just using my extras here and I'm really really loving them this was um, November 30th and December 1st so just to give you an example of how I'm using them and then here are Wednesday and Thursday this was actually yesterday but I'm going to be filling these out shortly. I just wanted to kind of leave them. I do have some items written in here, but I want to add just a few more things. And this will not actually be today because I don't have a busy day. I only like to fill them out on days that I'm really, really busy. So this is already prepped for the next busy day I have. I can do all the things that I need to. And here is just an empty page so you can see and it ends up with these really cute note sheets at the back. You can print as many of those as you like. And the back cover. Really love this insert. It's one of my favorites and I've been using it a lot. Then I just have some Grumpy Bear uh, post-it notes that I really like here. Next we have my habit tracker and I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> you guys know this that watch my flips, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Currently it is not working, it is failing, but we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep at it. <laughs> Next part here is I have my wish list tabs. I keep this in my daily section because I am in these tabs all the time. I show these on my Instagram and my Insta story, so I'm just going to go over it real quick. Basically what I did is I created a wish list for each of the shops that I really like to shop at and I created a, a laminated tab for each of them that represents the shop so I know which shops is which and what I'm doing is because a lot of these shops are international and it takes a long time for the packaging to get to me sometimes I will end up having two or three orders out at the same time and it gets very confusing I forget what I've ordered and I was ending up with duplicate sheets now that's um, been corrected because I've been doing this method and it really works and basically what I do is when I order a sticker I write down the name and the type that it is a sticker a die cut a digital I will write if I purchased it I'll check off the little got it box and just so that you know these wish list inserts are from so much crafting and then when I receive it I cross it off in red now if you see this section here the bottom part is blank that's because I have not ordered these yet these are ones that I would like to order so the next time this this shop has a promotion or a coupon code or something and I place an order here are some stickers that I'd like to add when I do place an order for that shop and it's really cut down on duplicate stickers so I just look through these all the time when I'm placing orders and I have one for create with pen I have one with for Ohana story coffee monster I have my grumpy bear we have Van Sticky. This one is blank because she's currently going over to digital for December, so there's no actual stickers to buy. I might write in some digitals that I want on my list. And then we have Once More with Love. And here's an example of how this works. I was uh, putting down the stickers that I'd like to order or place my next order with, and I wrote down cooking. But once I went to my sticker collection, I realized that I already have three of the cooking sheets. So I would have ended up with a fourth one, and I really don't need that. So I crossed it off and said already have, and now I'll prevent duplicating that sticker sheet. So it's really been working for me. And then I have Pumpkin Paper Co., which is really cute. I've been obsessing about her stickers lately. So I have a really fun uh, video coming up that's going to rotate just around Pumpkin Paper Co., so stay tuned for that. And then I have another vellum from Planner Press. I love this vellum. It's beautiful. I love it with the plaid shirt and the Santa hat. Really, really pretty, really vivid colors. And then it goes into my weekly, which is also under my daily tab. And I'll just flip through and I'll show you my weeks that I currently have in here. I'm really loving how these weeks are turning out. They're just so pretty. This one here was my Thanksgiving Day week. I did a holiday Christmas uh, decor, decor on it because I really wanted it to go with this planner. 
So it looks really, really cute. And this is a last week that I just finished up. I've been really busy every day doing like a ton of things. So I'm trying to get it all fit in and I'm trying to rest at the same time. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know I have a bad knee. So I'm trying to really work around that. It's not fun. I have surgery coming up soon on that. So I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, really loving all the different little stickers that I've gotten so far in this planner and this current kit here is from planning uh planet perfect i really love her stickers super cute and then this is the break page that's between uh the so much crafting inserts that i use for my day uh for my weeklies she leaves this blank section and i like to use this for scrapbooking during the month anything uh that happened that was fun i have not put anything in here yet i do have one digital sticker or a sticker that I created with a digital file from Create With Pen just to start it off. And I'm gonna add some pictures here and really make this into like a scrapbook style of all the fun things that happen in December. I have a peach palm on the top. Love this peach palm. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's like a heather gray and it reminds me of like a fluffy sweater. I just absolutely love it. And you guys know I cannot set up a planner without my peonies papery and my peach palms. This is the week that's coming up. I just have some notes in there of things that happened. And again, my peonies papery. I love this. It is the sequin star. It's one of my favorite clips. I have them in a lot of different colors and they're always in my planner. Then I have this section that I really, really love. This is one that I just recently put together. I have a uh, some vellum that I printed from Van Sticky. Really love her little digital designs that she's added to her shop recently. This is also from Van Sticky. I love this one. It's my favorite with her holding the little cocoa cup. So I just have that clipped right here. It stays really nicely there. I have this die cup from Wonton in a Million. It's adorable. I love this one. I'll show you a close up of it. It is so cute. I just adore it. It's one of my favorites. And then I have this Picks and Stones die cut, which I love. If you can see, it's laminated. And I love it because she has that clean edge laminating. There's like no kind of um, little edge on there. When I laminate, I have like a huge edge around everything. So I really like that. And then we have these uh, this cute little card that you get in your Van Sticky orders with your name on them. I really love that. She did a live feed last night, which um, was explaining how she did these and it was really, really interesting and I totally love it. It's just so cute. And this is the one of her holding the snowman and I just have this on a clear fly leaf. I also have a clear fly leaf that I printed myself. I used a digital file from Create With Pen, but my laser printer is only black and white so I couldn't do it in color. I do have a uh, color laser printer on my wish list for Santa Claus. So Santa, if you're watching this, I've been really, really good, and I really want a color laser printer. <laughs> the next thing we have here is from Peony's Papery. These are her little ball charms. These are awesome. I'm absolutely loving them. I love to use them to mark a section so that when my planner is closed, I can just go to the little ball and pick it up and pull it, and it takes me to the section that I want to go to. Really, really cute. This is my to-do divider, which is next. I have a little Grumpy Bear Sticker Co die cut here and in my to-do section I have my print and cut list. I don't know about the rest of you guys but with all these digital printouts that the shops are doing and uh, offering lately I've been printing and cutting like a mad person so I have actually had to put together a list and this isn't even complete. I need to add to this. Then some tabs that I'm thinking about adding in here. I'm thinking about adding three more tabs in here and here are just some custom labels that I need to order from Planner Kate. These labels that I use on my dividers are from Planner Kate and I really love them because she has a lot of pre-made ones in her shop but she also offers an option to do custom ones and I really like that. We have my get it done list, which is all my projects around the house. Another planner press uh, vellum. This one is so pretty. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like a birch wood pattern in the background and I really love that. 
Next, this insert here is from Planner, actually Peanut Planner Co. I never say that right. Uh, it's like a tongue twister. Try and say it a couple of times fast. It's funny. I have the Project Planner inserts, and I really love these because you have a place for categories, your budget, your start, your deadline date, and when it's completed. This is my favorite part, which is a materials needed list. Then you have your steps to complete. You have a little grid paper down here, and I have this cute little sticker from Ohana Stories because my next project is going to be painting. That is so adorable. I love the sticker so much. But I love these inserts because they're really set up nicely. When you do a project, I always have a materials list. I always do it in stages of steps steps and I never know how to like put that on just a plain piece of grid paper so I really love how organized those are I'm going to print out a bunch more because I do have several projects that I'd like to get complete my next uh, divider is my finance divider I just have a die cut from uh, Van Sticky and another one from create with pen and just some freebie stickers I got in an order I have some Coffee Monster Co. stickers here. I love these. These are actually from last year. And I just love them. Look at the little guy trapped in the ice cube. How cute is that? It's freezing here. Last night we had crazy snow. I put that on my Instagram so some of you saw that. I mean, literally the snow was blowing sideways. So I think I'm going to use this little sticker for last night. Next, I have my order tracker. These are all the orders that I place on Etsy and online shops. Really, really love this. This is from Annie Plans. And again, I have that black and white going on the cover because I tend to always print in black and white unless I'm really in love with the colors that are on the cover. Just a little thing that I like to do. We have another beautiful vellum from Planner Press. Love this one. Again, we're still in my finance section. So my next thing is my check register. And that's kind of hard because <laughs> Hard to show this part because there's a lot of personal stuff, but here's my check register. It is from uh, Peanut Planner Co. as well, and the other side is the one that's currently active. I have my debit repayment plan here. I have my savings tracker here. So I have that from So Much Crafting as well. Sorry about that, guys. Financial sections are also always super personal, so it's hard to show them. My next tab is for lists. The first thing I have here is this cute covert clip from Picks and Stones. This is another favorite of mine, which is the Gingerbread Man. And here is a really good example of normally when you have these paper clips, they would stick up high off the top. A lot of people don't like uh, paper clips that stick up. This one actually is down on the page and I absolutely love it. Now this divider is one of my favorites. I didn't want to cover it up with anything because it has these gorgeous snowflakes on it. I just love them. And this bow here is from Peony's Papery. This was from last year, but I love it because it has that beautiful buffalo uh, plaid look to it. Really cute. Then here we just have a vinyl sticker from Once More With Love. And this is my books to read section. And you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I said I was going to fill this out. And apparently I didn't. <laughs> I am going to do so, I promise, <laughs> before the holidays are over. This will just get transferred into my next planning uh, setup anyway, so it, it won't go away. And it, I have this really cute die cut down here at the bottom from Fox and Pip. I really love it. It's so cute. And then I just have some random lists that I always have in my planner. I have this here that's a custom that was made for me by Danielle from So Much Crafting. It's my bird tracker uh, inserts. I love them. She made these for me a very, very long time ago, so I don't believe she does these anymore, but I'm not 100% sure. Then some boring lists that you guys always see in my planner in every setup. <laughs> <laughs> my outdoor projects coming up for spring. I do the same pattern every year. So it looks like the same one, but I usually have it filled out, checked off. And now this is the one that's going to be coming up for the spring. 
I also have a new section here which is favorite shops and I just made a laminated tab to put on the top. I love this. It's just so cute. I love seeing all the little stickers for my favorite shops and I can write in coupon codes. I also have a business card holder. Loving this. This is really cool because some of the shops are starting to give out business cards that have your little uh, bow or sticker collection on the back of for shops that you have to collect things to get a discount or a free sticker sheet. So they fit in here really nicely, like my punch cards, really loving that. And then I just have a picture of Pookie. I have another one of these coming to me in the mail from Amazon. I'm hoping to get that soon. I'd like to set it up with pictures of my other cats and pictures of me and my husband. We went and cut down a Christmas tree, so I'd like to put those pictures in here. I think they would be really fun addition. Then this section is probably my favorite. I just love it. Uh, I did this vella myself. This is from a digital file that was sold on Create With Pen. And this is Create With Pen um, die cuts, which is the Let It Snow, which I love. It's so pretty. This is her handwriting and it's gorgeous. And this little Tinta, which is my favorite. I have these post-it notes that are from uh, Unicorn Planner. Love that. I'll link that below. Some Tinta stickers from Create With Pen and a Fox and Pip bow that I laminated. I have some labels coming from Planner Kate. I hope they arrive today and I'm hoping to get that label put on there. My next section here is my PR team. I kind of left this plain. I, I, I could add things here and I most likely will because it's an open section, but this is a section that I use a lot. I keep it in lists because I, I kind of consider it lists, but here are my PR team inserts from Annie Plans. And basically it helps me keep track of my PR work. Then I have my passwords list also from Annie Plans, and I'll show you the blank in the back. My ones that are filled up, up, filled out are in the front section here, so you can't see them. And this is my password section. And then the next one is my shop coupon codes. I really, really love these inserts, and I have the Fox M uh, pip bows that I printed and laminated for tabs. I love these tabs. They're really easy to see and flip to. And then the next thing I have is this little pocket that just has some coupon codes from shops. I have a few scratch cards in there from Black Friday, so I can't show those because I don't think they're meant for the public for some coupons that I can use for my next order. Okay, my next section is my health section and really nothing exciting in here. Just information on my knee information on my hives outbreaks. I suffer from hives, so I like to keep track of when it happens and what I think is causing them. Also, my weight loss journey. Then we have another ball charm from Peony's Papery. This one is really pretty. It's the black and white and gray plaid. Really awesome. It really goes well with the red and black plaid as well. Then I have this section here. I just made this divider for my cats. It's also in the health section and I just have some empty inserts for when my cats visit the vet. I just replaced these because the ones I had in were full and I have one for Salem, I have one for Maxwell, and I have one for Bella. Then we have this section here which is some Fox and Pip digitals that I printed and a Grumpy Bear digital that I used for this vellum that I printed out. I have some Clarissa Plans at All stickers that are really cute. I have this die cut here that's from Sugar Girl Shop. Really liking that shop. It's really cute. Some more stickers from her. I also have some stickers from Rockaway Paper that I really like here and I plan to use for this year. And my Christmas inserts, these are a little crooked. I can tell that now that I'm looking at it, but it's no big deal. These are just like small stickers that I printed out myself that were easy to put in here. I'll be filling this out this week coming up. I just have this little fly leaf back here that has a Grumpy Bear digital and my initial. This was purchased at Hobby Lobby. My last divider, love this divider too with the snowflakes. I just hate to cover it up because it's so pretty. This insert here next is one of my favorites. It is my appointment tracker. Now, when you purchase this appointment tracker from Annie Plans, it does not come with the word appointments on it. This is a sticker that I cut 
out myself and added. I just thought it would help me. I like to have these covers on my inserts so I know what's going on. And basically, I do all my forward planning in here. Doctor's appointments for my husband that are coming up, doctor's appointments for me, maybe vet visits, parties that I have to go to, engagements that I'm um, wanting to go to, anything that I have, meetings that are coming up, I like to put in here. It's all my forward planning. I love it. It's a quick place where I can just jot things down. Then I have my monthly for December. I love this Tinta Santa Claus. It's so cute. I don't know if she's gonna stay here. I might move her up to the front because I really love her. And I have little tiny stickers of her as well that I wanna do something with. I just haven't decided yet. So this is definitely a work in progress. This isn't gonna be the final end all for uh, December. And I'm waiting for my December stickers for my monthly to show up. They just shipped today, so they're going to take a little longer. I could have just used regular stickers and washi, but I really wanted to wait on that set to see if I like it first, and I will definitely catch that up. Here's just some stickers that I print myself. Really fun. And I did miss this clip here, guys. I'm going to go back to this clip real quick. I flipped through it. It's from Peach Palm. I really love it. It's so pretty with the pearls on it. So here are some stickers. I have this buffalo plaid um, bow here that's from Kelly Eva Designs. Really love that one. I had her clips last year and I really love them so I got them again this year. And then this cute Santa die cut from Once More With Love. I really love that. It's so super cute. And I just keep it on a plastic fly leaf at the end here. And some more stickers from Create With Pen. It snowed last night, so I'm definitely going to be using those. Then in the back here, um, I just have some stickers and some random stuff, but I have this writing card. Basically, if there's a place in a planner that I want to write and I need a little extra um hard surface for the back. I use this to write on. It's just a little bookmark that I made. Again, this is a cute little die cut from Joy of Planning. And this is a clip from Bullfrogs and Butterflies. She made that for me last year. Love it. It's so cute with the snowflakes and the plaid. And I just keep that back here. Then I have this clip from Emily Speaks. It's really, really cute. I love that. It's like a little cabin door. I just keep it back here. And then I have my Pen Gem Secret Santa pen. I love this. I was lucky enough to grab this when they released him. It was a surprise release that she did with the uh, Christmas Lights collection. And it's one of my favorite pens. Unfortunately, when you put it in this... <laughs> pen holder it covers all the design but it's okay because I get to see it every time I pull it out so it's really really cute and I just have that this closes really well I don't have any problems closing it and it snaps pretty good hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below in case I missed something that you saw and that I didn't mention just leave it below thanks so much for watching guys bye